In this video, we'll talk a bit more on how to define a single section wing in VSP. Let's click on our wing geometry, and under the section tab, we have controls in the section platform box that help us define the shape. Now note that when we're in the section mode, we're only controlling this right-hand side highlighted in green. The plan form values are accepting these contributions from the reflected side as well. So you'll note that the span, the area, and the aspect ratio are all double from what we have set on this right-hand side. So the span in this case is simply the distance along the wing from the root to the tip. And the projected span, which is calculated down below, is the top-down plan form view of the span based on how much dihedral you have. In the section tab, we can control the root or the tip cords independent of each other, which is different than the way that we did it in the plan form mode. And we also have the ability to turn on some of these other boxes. Now note that only three of these can be active at once, and that's because the rest of these are all dependent on at most three of these variables. So that allows us to turn on things like aspect ratio, area, and taper ratio, and we can drive the shape of the wing using a different set of parameters than we had to begin with. So from the aspect ratio side, if we increase this, note that it's the ratio of the span squared over the area, and the higher this number gets, the longer and more slender the wing becomes. A low aspect ratio implies more of a stubby wing. The taper ratio is the ratio of the tip cord to the root cord, and here a value of less than one implies that the tip is shorter, a value greater than one implies that the tip is longer, and a value of one makes a rectangular section. By moving that back down, we'll get a bit more taper. And if we start sliding the area around, then it's simply scaling everything because our aspect ratio and our taper are fixed. There's another parameter that we have access to here called the secondary sweep angle. And that's all the way down here at the bottom. Now, normally this is deactivated, so the secondary sweep location doesn't really do much. But if we turn that on, and just by way of an example, we say we want a 10 degree sweep at the weeding edge using these two parameters. And then at the trailing edge, we want a 20 degree angle. Because we have these values set using secondary sweep, the area and the aspect ratio, the cord is automatically solved for. Now we can change where this happens to lie and it changes the shape of the wing. But it's important to note that you can still set an angle that can't technically be solved for because we have things like the area and the aspect ratio set. If we were to change this angle to something to where you go beyond a collapsed point at the tip, I can continue to try and rake that angle backward, but note that it's not actually changing my geometry at all. That's because as far as this is concerned, you've gone as far as you can go. If you drag this forward, eventually you will hit that point and the tip cord will start changing again. So if you are going to use this parameter to define the geometry of your wing, just be careful that you're not trying to tell it to be something that's unrealistic. So that's a bit of how to define a single section wing. In a follow-up video, we'll go ahead and start doing this multiple times to discuss how to do it for a multi-section wing.